we're live okay welcome ladies and gents this is episode one we're here norsk is finally here this video is probably gonna be a week <laughs> after the launch or something uh because i had a little pay through and i tried to try to do a let's play series and i got my ass kicked i played it on very hard and uh i underestimated the style or did completely misconstrued the style of uh, norska which we'll go into in a second but welcome, episode one, Powers Plays Total Warhammer, the Norse ca campaign. So we're starting as Wolfric the Wanderer himself up in uh, up in Norska. The other star position for the other lord is somewhere around here, which is the Ice Troll legendary lord. There is also another legendary lord you can get, which I found out if you go to here. This chappy here. Now, I can't really make out from the picture what it is, but... He's a Lord of Change, I believe. Well, it says he's a Lord of Change. So I'm assuming he's the same as um, the the Isarathorol or whatever his name is that comes in later. Kind of bird, vulturey creature. Uh, but I have to... The way to... I'll explain why I have to get him later. Anyway, this game's come out. I've not uh, ha watched any feedback from anyone really or anything like that. As to uh, people's opinions, but I really enjoy it so far. I really do. So, what I'm going to tell you the mistakes I made, so you don't have to. You don't have to make the same ones. We have four different resource trees. Well, this is a kind of third merges into one. This is for pimping out your marauders. Um, generally, all types of marauders, including the cavalry. Then this gives us money for extra from extra sacking money and raising money and stuff like that. This leads to a quest chain. How you can get. I don't know, items I assume, rather than recruit monsters, I'm not 100% sure, but if you see unlocks monster hunts level 1, unlocks monster hunts level 2, and unlocks level, I haven't done any of this yet, because I'll tell you what I did wrong, I, oh, we've got to research something haven't we, let's go, I really like, I really like the javelin throwers, I think they're really cool, the range is better than I expected, and they do a decent amount of damage. So what I did was I thought that the majority of the game would be focused on raiding the south. Because that's kind of what the scaling of the Varg used to do. It was, you know, they wouldn't really have much infighting. They'd be working together to just head south and be raiding and sacking. So I thought I'd be able to run up here and quickly confederate everybody and or, or capture everybody. And then within 30 turns, head down and, and, you know, attack the rest. It isn't like that at all. You have to be careful of how you how you push forwards. So one little thing, I can go from my maximum movement range, I can actually raid at the end of that. So, okay, I'm only getting 37, that's fine. Uh, I thought that you'd only get one kind of provincial capital building and the other ones would just be like the elven outpost things, but they're not in the Norska anyway. You can get, you basically have full provinces and you've got some quite extensive building chains as you can see here. Uh, so it is good to capture the others, which I will be doing here with the longship graveyard. So I ended up spreading myself too far, too thin, very little income. These You can get all of up here and you'll get very little income from it. So your income comes mostly from raiding and sacking. So the trick is, whenever you find a place, when you attack it, we'll just sort of resolve this one. Whenever you attack it, you have all these options. So I can occupy it. I can sack it, it's only going to give me 523 here, so there's not much point sacking it. Or I can raise it to one of the gods, which gives me a bonus to one of the gods, but it pisses off some of the other gods. So if I raise, raise it for the crow, I get favour with the crow, but the hound, the eagle and the serpent don't like me that much anymore. I am going to go for the eagle, because the eagle will allow me to recruit that other legendary lord later on, if I uh, get favour with him. So here, I'm just going to occupy, because there wasn't really much money from sacking it. If I sacked it, I have to wait another turn before I could take it. And I just want to push on with this and take out the scaling quickly. So what you do is you choose one faction to attack. So I'm obviously attacking the scaling first, and then you take them out. This is the last settlement. I'll take them out. They're gone. Then you move on to the next. Next, I'll be attacking the Bjornlings. And the Bjornlings are over here for some reason, even though... We all know that the Bjornlings camp was over here, or still is actually, so maybe there's two types of Bjornlings on uh, either flank. Now, I'm not going to build this, this is only a tier 3 structure, 
So I'm going to build it in the small minor settings. I'm going to build it in Doom Keep because Doom Keep's deep inside. It's going to be protected. Later on in the game, I'm assuming that the Southern Empire provinces are going to be coming up and attacking me and raiding me. So I want to make sure that my recruitment does not get hindered by anyone attacking, besieging, or sacking or raising a settlement that has my recruitment buildings in it. As you can hear, there, or you probably can hear, there's some slightly different music. Uh, so they've added in a few songs, which is good because I love the, the, the score to the game thus far. But it's nice to have some variation because I play this game so much. So I've got two spears, two of these. The skin walls are awesome. These are basically just werewolves and they're giants. They're big, they're anti-large, they're twice the size as a normal man. They have frenzy and they have regeneration and they're fast. Look at their speed, they're 75. They're basically cavalry uh, units. They're really good. So I'm going to keep going with this because I want basically four spearmen, four uh, marauder hunters, probably three or four of those, and then the rest will be those up front. So let's upgrade that. One thing I learned from my very brief playthrough yesterday was that you've got to focus on infrastructure. You've got to put your money into, into buildings. You've got to put your money into making money. And make, uh, the only other problem I had was happiness. So these guys are always pissed off. And they're always fighting. So I'm going to show you, you'll see in a minute, how quickly you can recruit. Not recruit, but... Um, take out a whole faction very fast, very easily, by attacking their, their main army and defeating it. And then once you defeat their main lord, they're like, oh, this guy's the boss, so let's, let's let him be our boss. And then you just confederate, which I'll do with these two very quickly. Now, what I did after that was I went and confederate everything really fast. And then these guys behind you. Now, the problem you have, and this is really important for anyone who's, who's starting out with Norska, is they do not have walls. So you can have a... You're going to have rebellions. You're definitely, definitely going to have rebellions. And because you don't have walls, the rebellion will appear and immediately attack you. And you might be able to defend off the first attack with a garrison. I don't think I can reach it. Crap. Okay, well, we'll go into rain starts. The... They will then, the rebellion will retreat, replenish, become twice as big by the next turn, and then boom, you're in trouble. Because then they attack again, your garrison is not grown at all, and you've, you've lost that settlement. So you've got to be really careful with the rebellion. So I'm going to confederate the Greylings and the Bjornlings. And the Varg, I'm not too worried about right now. They attacked me, so we'll retreat. That's really not good. Now, I don't know why they were going to win that so easily. Right, let's try this. Well, this isn't good. So we left them too long to... We left them too much time. Damn, they've got so many ranged. They would definitely beat us. They would definitely beat us with that many ranged. Because these guys are rubbish. They're like a halfway between zombies and... Uh, skeleton warriors with shields. If, in my opinion, in terms of... Leadership, in terms of tankiness... So we might have to... Six turns. Ugh, this is already a horrible start. So I spent too long recruiting maybe and gave them a chance to recruit. Tell you what we'll do. Let's see if we can... Uh, get an ambush in. I know I'm really close and I know it's highly unlikely, but if we can get an ambush, that would be amazing. And apparently the Nalska are quite good at ambushing according to other friends that have uh, been playing with them. So no, it didn't work. So they've just got more time to build up an army. But they haven't seen me, which is weird. So let's move away a little bit more, and let's do that again. So already this is going horribly wrong. Great. I should already have this whole province, and I should be building up my infrastructure in this province. Damn, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's check out their army there. This is difficult. 
That's not their proper army, so if I attack that and kill them, it doesn't make any difference. That's their proper army. That's what I've got to kill. Okay, so maybe they're at war. The gods might compel me to kill. They are. Okay, let's see what they do. They might lose that battle. If they lose that battle, that means that I can then just confederate with, uh, attack the whatever's left over. And confederate, where did they go? So they lost the battle. So if I attack them now, that should be their main army gone. And they should confederate. So let's attack. And that will give us the moot. Uh, there's not really much point fighting. So I do have Norsk and Ice Trolls, which is quite tough. Okay, we are going to fight this one. Right, the issue that I have with Norska is the snow maps. I really hate the snow maps because it's really difficult to see uh, where you're drawing lines and the, the, the kind of outline of, of people's their positioning and things like that and everything's kind of blurred. Like, all this is blurred to me. It's uh, not very clear what's happening. I don't know if it's my, my screen. I have a feeling it might be my TV screen that I'm using. I'm not sure. Anyway, what I've done is I've put the, the skin wolves, the lovely skin wolves, the very fast skin wolves, uh, in with the chariots. Now these guys are actually ranged and they're supposed to be very good ranged even though there's just you know two guys, one with a whip. This guy here at the back he uh, he throws out armor piercing axes. Now I don't rate these ranged chariot units because there's just the fire rate of fire is so incredibly slow that uh, I'm not sure it's worthwhile. So I might switch them into range. Why are they taking so much damage up here? Oh yeah, they just lost a fight, didn't they? So I might switch these guys into melee. I'm not 100% sure yet. Wolfric has... He's got three. I thought he only had two of these. So he always has this spell, which is a wind spell. And it's basically his ship. I don't, I don't know that much about the kind of story and histories... The history and stories of him himself he's apparently got a massive backstory and he's a legend uh, and he uses this kind of phantom ship or something or demon demonic ship or something like that uh, to be able to travel around the world instantly or something along those lines anyway they're using it here as a wind spell so no 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 that's not what i want to oh god i hate the way you can't just backspace or something out of that or maybe there is a way i don't know so uh Javelins are not going to be too useful here because they're up in the trees, which is a wise move. I'm sure they'll just all appear in a second. In a second? No? Okay, maybe not. Ah, there we go. Someone there. So we might have to shuffle across a little bit. Let's speed this up. So let's shuffle across a touch. Okay, they're moving now as well. So let's shuffle and move. Still not. I still don't have vision on them. There we go. It's time to sin now. So let's just move up. We're going to focus our javelins on the the trolls because those trolls will tear apart my infantry, except my spearmen. So now they're going to push. They're going to push. Okay. Oh, wait a second. We're going to focus our javelins on him. We might be able to take out the lord before he's even got to us. Wolfric, smash him. Smash him, Wolfric. Come on. There we go. He's he's gonna break already. Nice. Well, that was easy. So there look see the how the leadership dropped there? That big chunk of leadership just dropped down. It's beautiful. Let's move up a little bit. Let's get the javelins to focus on them. We'll get our lord on them as well. We'll play this fairly defensively. If they're going to move in one or two units at a time, we'll let them move in one or two units at a time. So you'll see that their health... See how it's... Yeah, they're, they're, they're gone already. They're crazy looking units. Kind of ice built into them, almost. Yeah, they're going to start running. Oh, we're being... See all these javelins sticking to the ground? Christ. That's because they're uh, throwing at us as well. We didn't really kill... I think we killed one of them only... Which is a bit strange. Okay, now we're seeing their army. So now we'll push up. We'll group and we'll push. Bring the cavalry round. Range units on their range units. 
bring up the spearmen at the back. Oh, Christ. Spearmen almost went on us. You go, you go. Good. Okay, bring these wolves around and we'll focus the wolves on their hunters, their javelins. And let's pop a spell down there. So you'll see it, it comes out of a portal. Oh, if you, I'd have to slow it down for you to see it. But it teared through them nicely. If you hit a whole unit from one flank to the other, you see it did like nearly 50% damage and got rid of all of their leadership. So it's pretty effective. These guys are just shooting into the back of them. Let's get them in melee. I want to see how good they are in melee, whether it's wise to use them in melee or not. I'm assuming they do a decent amount of damage. They're on chariots. Oh, they're turning. Yeah, they've got those uh, spikes on the side of the wheels. Those would be brutal, Jesus. That's it. That was an easy battle, but... Oh, they've got um, trolls here. Okay, now they're broken. GG. That's not bad. That's, that's quite good, actually. For such a small battle, that's a decent amount of cash. Can't grumble about that. Now, we can sacrifice to get money, kill captives to get leadership, or enslave captives for replenishment. Kind of standard. Uh, money is a real issue I find in the early game. Well, I've not got to the mid or late game with these guys yet, so I am going to take their money. Um, if, oh, please let me kill him. That would really suck if he escaped. So, we're going to kill. Slave. Now, we did just trespass, so they're going to hate us, but that's fine. So if we pull back. Now, we could probably confederate here now, but I don't think it's wise because then scaling will just go and attack. So we're going to wait a turn until we can get in range and then we will confederate. Hopefully it lasts more than one turn. Let's just double check. So what you do is you go for peace and then you ask, there you go, confederation. And you can take all their money as well. So I'm not going to do it just yet. We'll end turn. We'll give Wolfric some... Uh, I think tankiness is really important for Wolfric. He's really not very tanky. I lost him twice within about 40 turns the first playthrough I tried. And I don't want to do that again. Not when I'm doing a let's play. That would be fairly noobish. And I am kind of noobish with Norska because they are new and they are a bit different. So what I'll do... Okay, there's them. We're going to see if we get our confederation. Deity protects you. It ends here. There we go. We'll spill your blood. Now, we're going to take all their money. Boom, 3k. So that's what you need to do every time. You need to confederate with them. They'll beat their, beat their main army. Confederate. Make sure you take all their goddamn money. Because that's 3k every time. And it's really important in this early, early game. So I'm going to march over. We have... Another army over here, but it's not really worth keeping. I mean, no, it's not worth keeping. I don't think. Let's check out what they've built. Okay, so we've got what is this? Oh, let's look and get. We can get a, a mage. That would be really useful. Fire, death, and metal is what they have. Metal. That's interesting. So the three heroes you can get: the sorcerers. This I don't know what they are. I I have no idea. And the Skin Wolf, Werkin, is kind of like um, is a melee expert, but can be used the same as... It's like a Banshee, basically. It's like the Banshee, equivalent of a Banshee. So let's choose a Shaman. So we've got Metal, Fire, and Death. I quite like Death. I think we need something that's going to boost our armor, though. So I think, I think this guy's going to be good. Knud, another Knud. Okay, so we'll pop them in that army. Uh, you can go into there. Now, he could, he's probably going to head down to here. So let's up this immediately. And let's check what, what they've got here. So this I wouldn't build here normally. I'll get rid of this because it has to go all the way. It doesn't have to go all the way up, actually. Uh, but public order is really important. So yeah, maybe we should leave it. And we can get public order plus three, public order plus two for every war with neighboring factions. So maybe we'll leave that there. Let's up this. And let's get ourselves, what does this do? Income generated, obsidian minus. 
I don't think we're going to be doing much trading, so I'm not sure that having Obsidian is going to be that useful. But growth certainly will be, and there's no growth buildings in this province. We do have a level two building there, so we can get ourselves some different units. So where is this anyway? This is right over there. Okay, so that should be safe. So let's get ourselves some growth back here. So these buildings, these are settlements on the northern coast. I'm not going to build any garrison buildings. But on the southern coast, I'll put a garrison in every one because without walls, they're just so vulnerable. They really are. You get a decent garrison and you can build an equivalent of a walled, uh, a walls building, but it's not walls, it just adds more, more um, units to the garrison. That's fine. Okay, you jump in. Why can't you jump in? I mean, what I could do here is I could probably go and take, can I take that in one turn? Most, actually, maybe not. No, I can't. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. And can we reach him? I don't think we can reach him. Uh, and we're a little bit beaten there. I'm not sure. If I leave here, I can't reach him. He can come back and attack here immediately. If I don't leave here, he's going to move down and attack here anyway. Which is three turns. So I'm kind of screwed if I do, screwed if I don't. So let's just go for it. Oh, we can reach him. Ah. Now why would he win that? He's got a huge amount of range. I've only got two cavalry to dig into the back of him. Shit. I mean, I've got issues. I've got issues. Uh, I've got too many spearmen who don't have shields, so they'll get pelted by these guys and taken out in seconds. My four could take out four of theirs, but then they've still got like another four. There's not much I can do. I mean, I could probably recruit another lord here as defense. We've got misshapen, stupid, because a charge bonus, honorable, with extra leadership. Let's go with the leadership. I have a feeling we might need it. Uh, let's get ourselves a few of those. Now, how are you doing? You don't like us. What if we can get peace? Nope. One thing I don't like about this update thus far is the voice acting. The voice acting of Warfrick is good. He's got himself a cool accent. He sounds good. But the other lords of Norska, they just sound like English dudes. They just sound like English dudes, that's all. Yes. Was he in range of the garrison? Did he really just do that? No, he didn't. Right, let's try this. Let's go to... Well, why didn't he attack it? That's really weird, isn't it? Because he's only level 2. Let's put to here. I'm going to ambush stance. And let's move to here and recruit... Damn, we can't recruit anymore. But the two armies combined, maybe... Maybe that's enough. We definitely need armor. Right, let's see what happens. These scaling have really screwed me over them <laughs> to start with. Well, I kind of screwed myself over. You need, as I've learned, you need that extra movement early on so they don't recruit enough. Oh, we got it. All right, let's fight this. Right, so we're in. They're on a bit of a curve, which is a pain in the ass. But if I start up on this hill and charge down, I should get a decent bonus with the old charge. And then what do we got? What are all these? I can't even see. So javelins, 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 ja lots of javelins. Oh my god. They're all javelins. So if we engage our spearmen to keep their javelins busy, I think that'll be wise. And we'll have these guys behind to tear them apart. And we'll have... Wow, this is going to be more challenging than I thought, actually. More challenging than it looks, anyway. So if we go here, we'll focus our Lord on their Lord. We do have spells, which is going to be very useful. We'll put you down there. Wolfric is there. Who are we missing? Oh, we've got reinforcements, which would be quite useful. Okay, so you three... Uh, I guess you're going to have to cover here. 
and just hope they don't loop around. So you're gonna be number three, one. Oh, we got the ranged as well. So the ranged, I suppose. We could probably put them in here and turn off fire and then they should be hidden. Yep, they're hidden. So we can then use them to hit the backs of these guys. This is not gonna be easy. I should have probably auto <laughs> resolved this, but we'll see. So let's make sure everyone's grouped. Wait, what happened? Why did you ungroup? Group. Three. Grouped. And four. Okay, so one is there. Two is there. Three is there. Let's go. Okay, Wolfric, get involved. Sunshine, Cavalry, get involved. I want you to be on melee. I should have put more melee. God damn it, there. Wait, what? Okay, you get involved there. You melee, chase them down. Okay, they're going to escape by the looks of it, which kind of sucks. And four can now run in and volley from behind. Let's see what we've got in terms of spells. Oh, Christ. They are moving on my <laughs> sorcerer. Okay, we've got reinforcements coming in, but they're miles away, most likely. Okay, that unit's going down. Let's see how these wolves are doing. Skin wolves are doing okay, but yeah, you can help him. That'd be useful. You drop this. Can you drop it over there? That'd be nice. They're about to break. Yeah, they're all being broken nicely. You chase them down. Wolves are having fun. Let's have a look at Wolfric's up to. Wolfric is doing fine. Tell you what we should do. Oh my god, look at this. This is going to be devastating. Nice. Wow. Kind of hit us, but not much. That, oof, that was amazing. Okay, so... Marauders have taken out basically two whole squads there. Let's focus on them. They're about to run. They are running. Going to the side. I, I don't know where their lord went. Their lord's, their lord's coming back. Let's focus some marauders on them. Our... Uh oh Our wizard is not doing so well. I do not want him to die. Okay, you go focus on them. Where is our cavalry slash? Yeah, good, good, good. You can come back in. Maybe go up against them. I don't know where our reinforcements are. They're miles away. Yeah, I can see them on the map. They are miles away. The Lord. Come on, kill the Lord. Kill the Lord. Let's finish this. We got this. That spell devastated. There we go. He's dead. They're going to they're gonna come on me. Good ambush. We lost a fair amount of units. But we got those goddamn scaling. We got them good. Well... That's all about we've got time for, actually. This guy survived, which is great. He actually killed 12 guys himself, which is good. I popped off a couple of spells there that probably helped. Let's take the... I need to be careful here because I'm probably going to have to attack them again. Or maybe I can confederate now. Let's check this out. So let's take the money. I've killed their lord. He definitely died. So let's have a look and see if we can get peace. Oh my god, we might get it to take a whole army. You could take a whole army each time if you do it right. If you go in there and assassinate, snipe their lord, suddenly you've got two armies. Okay, I got a massive overhead. But, that's pretty sweet as well. So let's merge all these. Let's definitely merge all these. We don't need that many of these guys. Let's merge them as well. So we choose the over reduce the overhead a little bit. These guys are raiding on our land. We could let's get rid of this guy. And you. So let's move up. Let's get up in this guy's face and let's see if he wants to uh, throw down, as it were. And here is where oh good, they've already got level two, so we can get rid of that. They've got this as well, which you probably need. And back here is good because it shouldn't need defense. So anyway, I'm going to finish the episode there. That was episode one. hope you enjoyed it. I did. It wasn't very smooth at all to start with. But uh, we got there in the end. 
I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. So, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time for episode two.